Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Essendon coach career video. Man, this series is moving. As you guys can see, we are taking on Adelaide today with a win. It could almost put us in the top four. So this could be a massive opportunity for us to get the dub. I mean, Adelaide is still vying for a AFL finals position. But man, oh man, if we were able to get the win, this would be a hell of a resurgence. We know uh, where we've come from. I mean, we had a we've had a couple of, we had a couple of struggling weeks. But man, I'm excited. So sit back, relax. I hope you enjoy the episode. If you guys have been enjoying this series so far, please hit that like button. I'm still having a little bit of fun with AFL 23. So let's get into it. As you guys can see, we are taking on Adelaide. We are coming off a really nice win last week against Port Adelaide in a real tough one. So we are going for another win. I mean, we've won, what, uh, four out of our last five? We could make it five out of our last six and keep this going. This is for four wins in a row. We haven't not dropped a game for a while. So, uh, I mean, win this. We could be in the top four. Now, we have a pretty healthy list at the moment, which is good. Um, we have had a few injuries this year. We have lost a few players this year, but it's nice to see a healthy list. And, Man, like I said, hopefully we can keep pushing on. So uh, we are going to get into team selection for this week, and then we are going to get into the game. So let's do it. It's team selection for another round. Okay, into this week comes Brandon, Zerk Thatcher, out goes Zach Reed. Uh, BZT, he was injured. It's nice to see him healthy back into the side. So this is the squad that we've got taking on the almighty Adelaide Crows. I hope you guys enjoy the episode. If you're enjoying it, hit that like button, and let's do it. Let's get into it. Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson. Welcome to Saturday Afternoon Football. We're live from Docklands. This is a vital match between Essendon and Adelaide. Here's an opportunity for a good side to tighten their grip on their top eight spot. But equally, an opportunity for a frustrated side to take out some of that frustration. And here come the visitors. Great to have you along, Half. How do you see this one unfolding? Thanks, Hutto. I've tipped the Bombers. Might be close for a while, but going toe-to-toe. -to -toe hey, here we go. It's the Bombers. It is the Crows. And we are underway from Marvel. Want to get off to a fast start. We play well on Marvel. Let's see how we go today. Uh, coming off our nice little win over Port Adelaide last week. Hopefully, we can keep this good form going. Back in the middle we go. Draper knocks it down. Opportunity for Parrish. Parrish will handball out. Martin. Martin can go inside 50. Opportunity early for the Bombers and Stewart. Stewart can go back and have a shot and he misses. Man, you cannot be missing those early ones. Two behinds play zero. Look at the pressure from the Bombers. Results in Peter Wright picking up and Peter Wright kicks a goal. Great pressure from the Bombers. Peter Wright gets our first on the board. Now, we were, I'd say, inaccurate in this first quarter. 1-3-9 plays zero. I mean, we're holding Adelaide really down low. But a snap towards goal. And Adelaide have their first. One straight six. Make it 1-1-7. Plays 1-3-9. Man, Adelaide are queuing up at this point. Taylor Walker drops an absolute sitter. They've got opportunities, though. Launching and hitting the post. Man, we were lucky there. It's a one-point game. Now, don't look away. I'll tell you what. Sammy Draper has been having a great season for us. Had a rough couple of weeks, but he's rolling up from the boundary line. Are you kidding me? Sammy Draper from the boundary line. Kicks an absolute beauty. Rory Sloan just tackled him. It doesn't matter. And we've got a nice little seven-point lead here. Nice little buffer going into quarter time. Good first quarter from the Dons. Can we keep this going? Bombers lead. 2-3-15 to the Crows, 1-2-8. Nick Martin being good in that first quarter. And as you guys can see, we have a nice little lead. So I've got to continue this on. We've got to keep going. Got to keep getting better. I mean, these are the games we are meant to win at Marvel in Melbourne. Um, I mean, to be fair, we, we've, we've had opportunities to win these type of games and we've lost them. I mean, remember what GWS did to us. I mean, they absolutely destroyed us at Marvel. So uh, let's get into this second quarter. See if we can continue this form. Bombers have a nice little lead. So, second quarter underway. Nick Hind, what are you thinking? Man just turns it over, gives the easiest goal to the Crows. 
And we are all tied up, man. Nick Hine, you got to be better in that situation. It's a all tied up game. Bombers, opportunity. Shield, little handball. Hobbs, and look at what he's again. It's Nick Hind from the goal square. Man's missed. How is Man's missing? Two, four, plays two, three. Opportunity for the Bombers, and Stringer takes the mark. So the package having a really good year for us. He goes back and kicks a goal. Bombers lead by seven, and this is when we start to get the game on our terms. I mean, you want to get games on your terms early, and this is when we start to get it inside 50. Langford's got it. So Kyle Langford loads up. Is it going to come back? It is. Bombers have their fourth, and we're starting to get rolling in this one. 4-4 four, four, plays 2-3. Kyle Langford absolutely loves that one. So it's a 20-point game at this point. Martin, cheeky little handball to Hobbs. Hobbs gets tackled. Durham runs onto it. And Sammy Durham shouldn't miss from here. And he goes straight over the goal umpire's hat. Bombers are out to a 26-point lead. Probably the best we've played so far in a quarter. But, man, I have no idea what's going on here. Look at Sammy Draper. Draper's almost got him. We can't allow Adelaide to just roll us into goal like they did on this scenario. And now they are right back in this game. Need to respond. We need to respond now. Here is Codwell. Goes inside 50. Opportunity for the Bombers to bring it to ground. We do bring it to ground. Hobbs almost. The package. Jake Stringer kicks his second of the quarter. And now we have a 20-point lead, and we're starting to play some good footy. Draper, don't know what he's doing there, but he follows up with a bone-crunching tackle. And the skipper has kicked many goals this year, and he kicks another here. Bombers back out to a 26-point lead, really holding the Crows at bay. It's been a good game so far from the Dons. 8-7, plays 4-4, and that's going to do us for the first half. So like I said... Um, Probably the best we've played all year in the, in the standpoint of just, uh, I mean, putting goals on the board, taking our opportunities. I mean, we dominated that quarter, and now we lead the Crows 8-7-55 to 4-4-28. Hopefully, we can continue this good form. We can keep rolling with our Bombers squad. I mean, it's been a good year so far for us. I mean, like I said, a win here could almost put us in the top eight. And, man, that would just be huge. I mean, it actually would be huge for the club, be huge for, for everyone involved. So... Second half coming up. Can we con continue our good form? Now, second half, Adelaide definitely dominated play early in this one. They had opportunities to kick some goals. Ben Keys from the boundary line. Loaded up, and he misses to the right-hand side. But don't look away, because the Adelaide team is not going away. It's a five-goal game at the moment. Little sneaky handball. Great tackle from Redmond, but it's all Adelaide lining up. And they get it, so it's back to a 24-point game. So this Adelaide team, they're not going away. They're not going to allow us to break this game open. Redmond, inside 50. Opportunity just outside. 50. Great mark here from Heppel. Man, Heppel playing well this year to a one-on-one. -on -one. Jake Kelly snuck forward. And Kelly can go back. He's had nine disposals. Loads up. Look at this one. Straight through the middle. Every time Adelaide really got on a roll, we just answered. Look at Walker. My goodness, Taylor Walker. I, I mean, man, that was a that was a great mark, but just a terrible finish there. 11-7 plays 6-8. Langford snapping towards goal. It's going to come back. Not enough, and that is almost going to do us for the third quarter. So, so far, so good from the Dons. We hold Adelaide's little charge in that quarter, and we lead 11-8-74 to 6-8-44. It's a nice 30-point lead for the Dons. So, just have to go on with it now. Probably been our most complete performance of the year in terms of just how well we played. Let's see if we can continue this form and keep on going. Last quarter underway here from Marvel. Brad Scott rally the troops. Let's see if we can finish this game off. Here is Guelphy. Gets tackled. Cox runs onto it. Nick Cox runs onto it. Cox can go in. Loads up. Looks good. Is good. Nick Cox kicks the goal. Bombers out to a 37-point lead. Now, Adelaide weren't going away. This is a nice little sneaky goal here. But just to wrap this up, like I said, probably our biggest win of the year so far. 31 points at the moment. They go inside 50. Great mark there from Langford. Now look at this one come back. Look at this one come back. Just some more icing on a really nice cake. Like I said, definitely one of our most complete performances of the year. 13-9 plays 7-10. We're not done yet. I tell you what, Nick Martin is having himself a season, and he deserves more JT1 votes. Mance just waltzes in, makes it look easy. Nick Martin drills it home. Bombers are going to hold on in this one. We lead. Peter Wright also played well in this game. Um, he kicked two goals with an opportunity to bring up the ton. Did you guys actually see on the weekend Sydney? 200. Crazy. Peter Wright, he goes, icing on the cake. This was a great performance from the Dons. We're going to hold on. We're going to get the dub. And now we're going to see where we're going to sit in this uh, finals race. Because man, oh man. 
Could we potentially be in the top four after this week? I mean, you guys are going to have to wait to find out, but it may be huge. Absolutely huge for the club. Big time win for the Dons. 48-point winners here at Marvel. Our best complete game, as I said, for the season. Durham, Redmond, and Guelphy absolutely love it. They were good in this game. It was a great win for the Bombers. Hopefully, we can keep moving on now, keep this form going, and we can keep pushing on. Great win. I mean, 48 points. I mean, you don't you don't always win by that much, but that, I mean, to be honest, I'll take it. It's our biggest win of the year. We bring up our double ton. Peter Wright kicked three for the Dons. Nick Cox played well. Nick Martin also played really well. Here are the disposals. Let's get into the team song. Let's celebrate the Bombers, and then let's get into J2 on votes for another week. wasn't at his best probably in the at the stoppages he as you mentioned he was very good around the ground so yeah overall we were pleased okay dylan shield the three martin got two and i gave one to nick cox i thought he's been playing well nick martin moves his way into the leaderboard so have a look at this the bombers are in the four we're sitting third going into a massive game against the cats next week in Geelong. I mean, we don't normally play well down there, so it's going to be a huge game for us. I hope you guys did enjoy the episode and you're enjoying the content that I've been putting out on the channel. I've been having a lot of fun, man, with all the content that I've been doing. Um, hopefully, we can get to 30,000 soon and keep this train rolling. But from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you for watching the videos. It honestly means a hell of a lot to me. I mean, we've been doing this for quite a long time now, and I mean, we're not stopping. We are not stopping. 30,000 is the goal. Hopefully, we get there soon. I think we're like almost 200 subs off, or 2,000 subs off. So, hopefully, we can uh, close that in. But thank you for watching, guys. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay blessed. And I'll see you in the next one as the Bombers roll on to the Cattery. <laughs>